What's up, y'all? My kids are downstairs very loud, but today we are going to be making a recipe that my girlfriend, Crescent, actually gave to my son. Um, she made this corn chowder. I'm gonna call it an AKA lint, halfway lentil recipe too because this recipe has a bunch of lentils in it. You guys know I've been on my lentil kick and I love lentils. But my son, Titus, got this recipe from my girl, Crescent, and he's 12 and he made this recipe, so I think this recipe will be super easy for you guys. So we're gonna start off with olive oil, you guys. We're gonna need some olive oil, and then we are going to need one green bell pepper, one white onion, and two um, celery stalks. So you guys, I'm doubling my recipe, so if everything looks like it's a whole bunch, that's because I'm doubling my recipe. Need a pound and a half of potatoes. I'm just using gold potatoes because the skin is thin. I don't feel like peeling a bunch of potatoes, but this is what you're gonna also need. One cup of your red lentils, you guys. Red lentils, lots of garlic. About four cloves of garlic. Here's our garlic, you guys. Corn, because this is vegan corn chowder. Vegetable broth, you guys. About four cups of that. Coconut milk. So, coconut milk in the can, it's my favorite thing. I use it in all my little recipes for the most part. We need our seasoning. So I have a Creole seasoning and I have thyme and then salt to taste. And that's it, let's get to cooking. Okay you guys, so don't forget to check the description box down below. I'm recapping all these ingredients for you guys. Celery, white onion, one green bell pepper, four cloves of garlic, four cups of vegetable broth, um, about a pound and a half of potatoes, about a cup of corn, you can use frozen or canned, a cup of red lentils, and you're gonna need about a tablespoon of Creole seasoning, and about a teaspoon and a half of thyme, and about a half tablespoon of salt, and one can of coconut milk. But check the description box down below. So let's get started. We're gonna do our tablespoon of olive oil. And of course, you guys, my ingredients is gonna look like it's way more because I'm doubling the recipe because I got a lot of people in my house. So we're gonna start off by adding all of our savory, our onion, our bell pepper, and our celery, and we are going to stir. And then we're gonna go ahead and add four cloves of wonderful garlic. You guys, house, it will smell so amazing. Aroma is ridiculous <laughs> just from these ingredients right here. All right, so then I go ahead and I add my spices, my Creole seasoning, my thyme, and my salt, and I get that mixed in. I actually let my onions, bell pepper, and my celery simmer for about three to five minutes, you guys, before I added my garlic. All right, so here we're gonna go ahead and add our lentils, our corn, and our potatoes. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our liquid, our four cups of vegetable broth stock, same thing to me, you just go ahead and add it. And then you're gonna give it a good stir, get everything mixed in really, really well. But of course I'm still adding liquid, <laughs> I'm taking my time. All right, so now give it a good stir. All of your ingredients will get mixed in. Everything will get nice and seasoned well because of all the ingredients that are in here. You guys, this is a super simple recipe. You are going to chop quite a bit. It's not that much, but you will enjoy this recipe. All right, so then we're gonna cover and we're going to let simmer for about 25 minutes. Once we let simmer, we're gonna bring that top, take that top off, stir a little bit, make sure nothing's stuck to the bottom. And then we're gonna go ahead and we are going to keep stirring and then we're gonna add our coconut milk so you guys are seeing me add two cans of coconut milk here because of course I'm doing double the recipe I don't want you guys to be asking me a bunch of questions like Faith how come you got you added two but in the ingredients in the description box it only says one can because I'm doing double the ingredients I just have to keep saying that but you guys make sure you check the description box for all the ingredients so we're gonna let it simmer for another 10 minutes after we add our coconut milk and we're gonna stir some more. And that's about it, you guys. It's all together. You're gonna to cook for about 35 minutes. This whole entire recipe takes a good, probably about 45 minutes, if that. But I just think this is a, such a good, savory, ah, delicious recipe. It's sweet and it's salty. You have the corn, you have the potatoes, you have the Creole seasoning and it's just such an easy dish. I hope you guys try this recipe. Like I said earlier, my son, who is 12 years old, <laughs> made this entire recipe. He was the first one that, make it, that made it in this household, and it came out so good. 
it was so good and this is my first time making it and it came out so good but again thank you so much crescent for this recipe it's a vegan recipe completely um, plant-based uh, ingredients and yeah it's just a good recipe you guys I know it's summertime and it's like a soup but hey it's delicious all right you guys I hope you guys enjoy this recipe it's so cost effective it's such an excellent choice for a big family or just I don't know it's summertime you guys and I know it's like a soup but it's so refreshing it's so good I decided to garnish mine with the green onions you guys can do cilantro or parsley whatever it is that you like don't forget to check the description box down below for all my other recipes lentil recipes cake recipes soup recipes I have it all anyway God bless you guys Faith's Oven